Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this wonderful evening honoring Dr. Tony Solom, a personal friend and a true asset to Northern Nevada here. So let me tell you a little bit about Tony. Tony's a wonderful, wonderful individual, and, and Northern Nevada is so blessed to have him join us here. He's taken uh, his, his passion, his intelligence, and his uh, love for the life and, and of medicine and other items to bring them to Northern Nevada and take this uh, wonderful organization called Renown Health, which is a jewel for Northern Nevada, and has transformed it into a leading edge, uh, state-of-the-art asset for the community as a whole. Uh, Renown is the largest uh, not-for-profit organization in the state of Nevada, and everyone here has to really be thankful for the fact that Tony's here to lead it. Uh, he's taken it, um, and I, I always call it an aircraft carrier. It uh, employs 6,500 uh, employees. It's the largest employer in northern Nevada. So uh, let me tell you a funny little story. When we were interviewing and looking for, uh, for the CEO of Renown Health, we were going through multiple uh, interviews and, and resumes and other items in here, but when we did get down and we were going through and, and I picked up Tony's resume and started going through it, pages long to say the least, but anyhow, at the end of it, I got through all of it and took a look at all of his, uh, his aspects in life. He's a doctor, he's a master's in this, an MBA in that and all, and, and my question to the board was, how old is this guy? He's got to be in his 80s or 90s for all this. And it, and it was a chuckle and all. And Tony was only in his 40s when we hired him here. So this is something really special. And, and Tony, you should be so proud of yourself and especially what you're doing for all of us in northern Nevada here. And um, special man, uh, special evening here. And I just really want to extend a, a thank you to Tony uh, for your friendship and also for all that you're doing for all of us here. Thank you. Good evening. I am very honored to be present today to pay tribute to Dr. Tony Slonim and Renown Health, who are being honored by the MS Society tonight. We are so blessed in this community to have Dr. Slonim come to be our CEO here at Renown Health. Since he's been here, his focus has really been on community outreach. and. As a pediatrician, I see this greatly in what we're doing as we are partnering with the Children's Health Institute, we're partnering with WebIZ to increase our vaccinations, we're partnering with schools uh, to improve the health and well-being of students, uh, and this is extending into the adult care, and we are truly lucky to have him be a part of this organization and really spearheading our organization to get into to the community to make our community a healthier and better place. So I met Tony shortly after he started as our CEO here at Renown Health. Um, he is charismatic. He automatically grabs you as soon as he starts talking to you, whether it's one-on-one -on -one or in a big group of people or up in front of an entire crowd. And, you know, really just engages with you to share the message and how important it is for us to be providing the best health that we can possibly provide to our community. He is one of these people that once you've met him, once you know him forever, and he can sit and talk with you and seems always genuinely happy to see you when you cross paths in the hospital. Good evening. I'd like to explain how I was fortunate enough to meet Dr. Slonem. There are two things that uh, I would like to pass along that uh, many uh, likely know, but uh, are particularly uh, funny to at least several of us who know Tony real well. The first, of course, is his incredible uh, public speaking ability. Tony can address uh, literally thousands of people at world symposiums speaking about the most difficult, challenging, interesting subjects. He can keep everybody's attention uh, throughout the entire speech and yet he takes no more than 10 minutes, maybe 11, in order to prepare. Uh, the second thing is that uh, many people may or may not know that he's, he's actually from New Jersey, uh, something that we don't uh, hold against him too often. In terms of Tony's most important achievement uh, here in Northern Nevada, of course there's the 23andMe partnership with the Desert Research Institute. 
uh, and the world-renowned genetic testing that uh, Tony is leading us through. But also in particular, it's his uh, integrity and leadership abilities, really uh, the human side of Tony, the caring, which has led the organization now to a point where we're back being the respected, known, uh, community-owned, uh, community service healthcare leader in Northern Nevada. I think Tony is uh, the perfect honoree for the Hope Award given his uh, dedication to improving healthcare in Northern Nevada, specifically with MS. You know, having been a CEO and worked with a number of CEOs over the years, the mark of a CEO, a really good CEO, is one who can motivate an organization, paint a vision, and staff it with people who can do an extraordinary job. Tony has been exceptional at that. Do you know what sets Tony aside? Is his commitment to the community. He is constantly finding ways to improve both the health of our individuals and the health of the community. He is a great leader and a real asset to our region. Having said that, <laughs> Tony is an energizer bunny. He just has more ideas and more thoughts all of the time. If I ran into him in the butcher store, he would say, hey Dick, I've got this great new idea. All I need you and the foundation board members to do is raise a significant amount of money in a very short period of time. And of course I'd say, yeah. Having said that, thanks for being here, Tony. You make a real difference. I'm pleased to be working with you and, and your team. Take care. I'd like to thank the MS Society for allowing me to speak about Dr. Tony Slonim. He's a wonderful gentleman. The more you get to know him, the more you like him. Um, he's, um, he's a bit of a Jersey guy, so uh, obviously he can be tougher than a $2 steak sometimes, but honestly, nobody loves him more than I do. He's a great guy. He's a, a business guy first, but I think even more as a chess player, he's thinking six moves ahead of everybody else. And uh, I love that vision. I love his ability to think ahead. I really admire him about how much he really cares about getting patients better. At the end of the day, that's really what we're in the business for. And Tony, I just, uh, I really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you've really changed the attitudes at Renown Hospital, a hospital that our entire community owns and, and loves. Um, you've really done a lot of wonderful things about making sure that people feel appreciated, uh, respected, and, um, and constantly pushing all of us to make sure that the patient is the number one reason why we're in existence. So I just want to thank you for having the vision, the knowledge, and the ability as a leader to to get us to a really better place and, and I'm really excited to see where we can go in the next five to ten years. Thank you so much for what you're doing. I'm very honored to be here for our 10th annual Dinner of Champions. I'm also excited that Renown Health and Tony Slonim have earned the MS Hope Award this year. I've been practicing neurology in Reno since 2000. MS patients are my passion. I've enjoyed seeing patients grow up. I've enjoyed seeing uh, children go to college. I've enjoyed seeing patients benefit from treatments. And I've also seen the ups and downs that come in daily life uh, for everyone living with multiple sclerosis. Renown Health offers a whole product line of services that can really make your life easier. As a physician treating multiple sclerosis at Renown Health, I appreciate the service line we can offer our patients. Your support and contributions can help patients who are suffering with multiple sclerosis. In the future, our ultimate goal is to find a cure for this disease. In concluding, I want to thank each of you for joining us on this wonderful evening honoring both Renown Health and also Tony Solom. And on a personal note, I would really like to express a thank you to each of you for joining and helping us work towards finding and funding the cure of this terrible disease called MS. It's something that we have to solve, and I'm truly appreciative of each of you joining us to help us work towards that. Thank you so much. Good evening. Congratulations, Tony, on receiving the MS Hope Award. I am so proud of you and cannot think of anyone more deserving in our community to receive this high honor. Congratulations. Tony, congratulations on this fine award. It's certainly well-deserved. 
and I'm personally honored and very appreciative to call you a friend. Tony, I want to congratulate you on uh, receiving the Hope Award. Um, I think um, you epitomize what hope is all about in this community. You've, uh, you've lifted all of us, and I think this Hope Award is something that really you totally deserve, and all of us on the, uh, on the Renown board, all of us that uh, are employed by Renown, all of us that are associated with Renown, congratulate you. Nice job. I appreciate the support I received from Renown Health to create a comprehensive care plan for patients with multiple sclerosis. Congratulations to Renown Health and Tony Slonim for receiving the MS Hope Award this evening. Hey, congratulations, Tony, on joining the ranks of some significant citizens who have received this award previously. People like Norm DeAnda and Mary Simmons, the Rose Glenn Group, you're joining a significantly important part of our community. We're pleased to have you here and we're pleased to work with you. Thanks so much for all you've done.